Hi guys, today I am doing a highly requested video which involves me doing my FaceTime routine, especially for the night on camera. Um, this is a little bit weird for me because I don't normally make things like this, but I thought it might be a good video just because I have only really had a FaceTime routine over the last 10 months. Before that, I always used to just, you know, wash my face despite me having makeup on it or not, and then just slap like a Nivea cream onto it or sometimes coconut oil. And over the last 10 months, I've just tried to be a bit more intentional about the way that I treat myself. So in this video, as well as me going through what my routine is, I'll also be talking about things that have changed my mindset and things that I've kind of incorporated into my routine to make sure that I am getting the full potential of it. So the first thing that I do is actually cleanse my face. I've very recently started to double cleanse my face, so I'll show you how I do that as well. Um, but today I didn't wear any makeup, so I'm just gonna get straight to the cleansing. And if I was wearing makeup, makeup today I would literally just massage my face with a bit of coconut oil um, until it just loosens and then cleanse after that so the first product that I've been using and it's literally almost finished is this moisture burst face wash I used to be the kind of person that was quite aggressive with my face like I would over exfoliate and I feel like there's been so much change in the condition of my face just when I've just been a bit more delicate with it and this is really soft what I like about it is that it kind of foams up um, and the moisture burst the moisture bursts just kind of literally burst I do try to do this for like 60 seconds but it never really works and the second product that I use for my double cleansing thing even though at the moment I've just bought this recently and I do really like it but um, I generally wouldn't use this every single day even though it does say gentle daily micro polish wash I just feel like it's a little bit rough on my skin so I'm trying to use it every second or third day which means that I do need to find something for a second cleanse but I do really like it because just that surface muck that you sometimes have on your face um, it's really really good in taking that out and the reason why I bought it was because I've heard so many good things about Super Facialist firstly it's a brand that you can get from Boots and uh, secondly it's got vitamin C in it and nothing really well none of the other things that I use really incorporate vitamin C and I love the smell of it like it just smells like an orange burst which is so nice to use before you go to sleep so next I come into my room and um, usually what I try to do is just kind of segment this time out for myself. I um, kind of treat it as like a mini pampering session and I've actually grown to love just that time to myself. So I have an organizer and in each drawer it's like different things and different products that I need. Like one drawer has like everyday makeup, one drawer has like just eye makeup but I have a full drawer just dedicated to my skincare. So the first thing I do is tone my skin. I just feel like toning just really soothes it down and I've always used a rose based toner just because of my skin type. Um, it's the first time that I've used a pixie rose toner. I think a great thing about it is that my skin just feels really balanced whenever I use it and sometimes when I can't be bothered to get like the cotton pads out and stuff like that I literally just put a couple of drops in my hand and just put it all over my face. Don't hate on me. So the second product that I use is a serum for my face and to be honest with you I kind of made this oath that I wouldn't let anything that I buy go to waste. So um, I have this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum and I don't know it's one of those things guys where when you have a free sample it actually works better on your skin than the actual product and I just feel like since I've had it and obviously it's quite an expensive product so I feel even more guilty for not using it but um, yeah I still do use it because I want to finish the bottle but I don't think I would be buying it again just personally on my skin it's not really been doing that much even though I felt the testers did and it's the same thing I just kind of dab it into my skin and this is great as well because it does actually dry immediately which means you can just layer up 
anything on top. And this is actually something that I discovered after I had coronavirus because I needed something to wake my face up was this, um, the Ordinary Caffeine Solution and I use it at the 5%. And this is actually my second bottle since I had Corona and you know, I really, really like it. And I literally just kind of dab this on. Um, the thing is what I learned the hard way was that if you put too much on your hands, it actually gets into your eyes. And it's literally already dry, like that's it. That's all I need to do. I feel like it's definitely made a difference to like my eye bags. Um, and generally I just feel so awakened when I use it. Um, I actually use this in the morning and the night. So another thing that I have kind of incorporated into my life and it actually is a game changer is retinol. I obviously didn't know anything about it before I started to have a face care routine, but this is I think my fourth or fifth bottle of retinol, not this brand. Um, this is a revolution brand that I actually use at the moment, but I've used lots of different brands and they're pretty much, I feel like all of them do make a difference. Before like my face used to be quite sensitive and it used to get red and blotchy really, really easily, um, especially like in conditions where there are a little bit more heat or humidity. And I feel like this just really balances everything for me. Um, it's supposed to be really good to just renew and naturally exfoliate your skin which is great for like if you've got acne scars which I do have or for anti-aging and everyone knows how old I am so I also need that in my life um, but yeah like I just really like the way it feels this particular one is um, very much like an oily base which I really like um, but I know a lot of people when they use something like this it makes their skin really really sensitive and tight and red and those things are supposed to be normal i think i got away with it and i was quite fortunate where retinol doesn't really affect my skin in a negative way um, and i didn't really have to go through like growing pains to get there but i really really like this product so because this has an oily base i literally just use my gua sha to massage my face and i can literally hear the cracks in my muscles um, I'm not an expert in using it, so I use it in a really basic way. But as you can see, I already have rosy cheeks, which I'm guessing is a good sign because it means that it's working, maybe. And what I really like about it is that it's cool. So like just putting it on top of your eyes. It's almost like a cucumber. I don't do this every day. I'm just doing it for the camera. <laughs> so when you use retinoid, it's really important that you moisturize on top of it because it's a very drying formula. Um, so I always use either oils or, or something that's really, really hydrating. Um, these days I've basically been using the CeraVe moisturizing cream which is made for dry and very dry skin it's winter at the moment which basically means that my skin just gets dangerously dry too too quickly um, especially with the weather changing um, so this is really nice because it's such a whiskey formula and it's really hydrating and last but not least is just lip balm on my lips I actually have a confession to make. I used to spray perfume on myself every single night before I went to sleep. And then I thought that's a really bad thing to do because it's perfume and it's very expensive. So I bought this Sanctuary body spray, which I also love it because it makes me smell really nice. But yeah, I just really like smelling myself at night and just knowing that I smell good. Like, is anyone else like this? Is it just me? Just love it. So that is me and my nighttime face care routine and I feel great, I smell great and yeah, here's to me.